What's up everyone, James from Act Audio, and we are about to install the MS-14 LK from Diamond. It is basically the Diamond Motorsports 14 Plus lid kit. So, as you can see here, well, you can't see yet, but I've already detached the top lid from the saddle bag. It's very easy. On the inside of the bag, there's four screws there. I just, I used a little um, ratchet, I don't know what you call it, um, tool with a Torx bit inside. So just like that, and I got in there. I mean, you can do it with a, uh, a ratchet, a uh, socket and um, a quarter inch socket set. I think it's an actual quarter inch socket itself. I could be wrong on that. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. It's probably smaller but these will fit inside and you can use it to get into those tight places. But I got the four screws out here, which attached on the other side of the handle. And the first piece of the kit is this here. And we're gonna lay it on just like that. And as you can see, it lays on perfect, very easy. I'm gonna screw, screw um, two screws through the top, and then I'm gonna pilot these holes. So there's several of them around. Um, I don't think I need to do all of them, but I'm gonna hit most of them. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna come back and we'll show you. So as you can see, um, we put the two screws in. You know, we made sure it's fitting on here just right. We put the two screws in, and then I drilled a bunch of holes. And as you can see, I put the focus around the corners but on these straight shots, personally, I'm not worried about them. So I drilled a bunch of holes and now, you know, the holes need to be just big enough to get your jigsaw blade through, which mine are perfect. You're gonna literally find a spot you wanna start at and start cutting. So we're gonna start here and we're just gonna cut out this, this trace, it's that simple. But you're gonna want to, as you can see my, my jigsaw was a little wider. So I don't, I wanna be careful. So I'm actually gonna tape this up and then do my cutting. So we will be back. All right, so we got our hole cut here. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is you do wanna tape around the outside of this um, to prevent the paint from chipping as you cut it. But then we have our grill, the diamond grill. And we have the, um, I guess the, the frame that the speaker goes on to. Well, there's a space within the speaker, but you get what I mean. So the grill is gonna go in first. I had to cut, I couldn't do it with one hand. So the grill goes in like that, and then this lines up and you screw in the screw, the four screw holes in each corner. Um, and it'll hold it securely. There's a gasket on both sides. So I will do that and be right back. So here's the final product. Tape off. So here's the final product. You can see it fits on there real nice. I mean, it's gotta be cleaned up. There's some uh, dirt, some leftover, uh, whatever, from the plastic. But came out real nice. And we got the next one taped up, ready to go. All right, so we got it all assembled, ready to roll. Uh, then we got the spacer here. There's an inlay and a lip on the back. So you're gonna wanna set it with the inlay up. And you're gonna wanna, we're gonna screw this down. And then once that's screwed down, we're gonna take the speaker. And the speaker is gonna set on top and screw into place as well. And you wanna make sure you use really good screws here because like this speaker specifically, it's a very big, heavy speaker. So we won't wanna screw that up. All right, so we got the speakers in. As you can see, um, we put this back in. A quick tip for you guys. Uh, we put the two center ones in, but we also put the outside ones in before we tightened it, just to keep everything lined up. We then tightened the two center, removed the two outside, put this, um, put this on, and we put those in and tightened them. So over here, you can see the finished product, and we're about to 
And we're, <clears throat> we're about to run the harnesses in. We're gonna put this here. We've already mocked up our holes. We're gonna pre-drill them, drill a hole in the center. And we're gonna run our quick connect harnesses in. All right, so we got this one put in. As you can see, the wire is coming out. So right now it's just extra long and we gotta get inside, um, get it on the bike. We're gonna plug it in. We're gonna run it inside and trim it up to the speaker. Let's set this down. You can see, you know, it's looking good. We're almost there. All right, so we got the finished product on the bike, ready to roll. We open it up. You can see we ran the wire in. Little hole there. Around, we use some connectors and right up to the speaker. And the speaker mounts in there great. Close it up. And there it is. Both sides, finished product.